Roman Catholic Church officials in Saskatoon are promising to publish a report this spring on abuser priests. They say it will name all perpetrators going back to 1933. Saskatoon would be just the second jurisdiction in Canada to release such a list. A partial list was published by the Vancouver Diocese in 2019. An official says the Saskatoon report will list all of the known court cases, but it will also talk about the cases contained in the church's internal records. She says that it won't just talk about the names, it will talk about the circumstances. There is no doubt that it's going to evaluate if past historical decisions were appropriate. And, and actually, by reviewing that, what can we learn to a future situation? Victims say the church has been sheltering these abusers for too long, and they won't believe it until they actually see the public report. They say it's a start, but it won't undo the decades of damage they suffered. Well, I mean, that's encouraging. I, I, I'm, I'm happy they're doing it, and maybe, maybe this thing will turn around. Tim Ryan and Gary Mulligan were two of the boys abused by priest Hodgson Marshall more than 50 years ago in Saskatoon. Marshall also abused boys in Ontario and across the Caribbean. Mulligan hopes the report will provide some answers. He also hopes the public report will help other victims to see they aren't alone. It's probably going to help in that way. You know, like they're, they're, they'll probably be amazed at about how many priests are involved, you know, in this type of behavior. And uh, anything to help the kids that are right now in, 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 uh, in jeopardy, you know, it's... Uh, it's not good because this thing sticks with you your whole life. CBC News contacted the other three Saskatchewan dioceses to ask if they too would be releasing the names of abuser priests. Regina said no, Prince Albert said they're not sure yet, and in the north they didn't return calls. Jason Warwick, CBC News, Saskatoon.